Hello guys, this is me, Bunny Rabbit Lives, and I'm showing you guys my thumbnail making process. As you can see, I need to pick a picture and crop it to the correct size. After that, I take it to my video editing software because I feel like that one works better, like at editing pictures and everything, you know? So I did a lot with this thumbnail, basically I added even extra little things that I usually don't add to them, you know, but it is what it is. After that, I go to my images and I select one of my pictures that I use for backgrounds and stuff and then I edit that so that it fits the way I want it to. But with this one in particular, I had to edit it to be only a head. Because if I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to work with my idea, which I wanted to put my head over that emoji, you know? As you guys could see if you look back to the video thumbnail. Before I did that though, I made sure to sharpen this image so that it comes out with better quality in the end. After I edit it, and I forgot to remove the video and it was getting on my nerves, so I removed it so that it wouldn't bother me anymore. Yeah, I took it to the photo editing software thingy, and then now I edit it. This is the app that I use to remove the background. And you can have a transparent background on there. And it, I think it works with AI or something. It does it automatically, but you have to like, you know, finish off the little details. So I'm just going to play some music as this goes for you guys. I decided to remove the neck because I left it and it looked weird, so yeah. So I went back to the video editing software and now I'm fixing the emoji to be a, the exact size or whatever. Yeah, you have to screenshot it first because it doesn't let you put stuff over emojis because it considers a text and that's what the app does. And this is me just editing the picture so that it looks better, you know, not so dark. And after I screenshot it, this process has, this, all of this, the thumbnail making process has a lot of back and forth, as you can see, but I crop it again, so that it's at the perfect size. You always want to open up enough space, or like as much space as you can, you know, especially if you don't have a way to back up things, you know. And after that, you select the picture to edit it again, and you let the working process begin, you know, you put the overlay or whatever, you know. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that I did not script this again, <laughs> as I am saying you know a lot. But yes, after that, I edit the picture so that it looks the way I like it, you know?
for the title, you really have to go with the vibes or like the text has to be kind of similar to what the game is. I think sometimes, you know, it has to fit. It has to fit somehow. So that's what I'm doing right there. Fitting, feeling the vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So this is definitely the edited version of how long it takes me to do a thumbnail. It usually takes me from 10 minutes to 3 hours or somewhere in between there. And after that you just crop your picture and you use it as a thumbnail. Yes, I'll definitely make a short version of this for my shorts if you guys would like. I feel like that one would do better. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And bye!